This is the Oculus Go. It's an all-in-one virtual reality headset. Let's check it out in today's review. There it is. Yay. All right, these are the contents. I'm gonna open this up, read the instructions, and get started. When you first set the headset, you install the app on your phone, it communicates with your headset and sets it up. So I was just informed that it's ready to go. I haven't looked at it yet. I wanna see my first reaction to it here on camera, so let's check this out. Oh, wow. It's very comfortable. It says, hold this button right here. Oh, I'm hearing something. Where am I hearing that from? Find the Oculus button with your thumb. It's the bottom button. Press Oculus button. This opens a universal menu. Oh, whoa. Down there's a bunch of options. Library, store, browser. Scroll for more. Okay, so I use this to scroll. Oh, oh, sweet. Okay, I'm at the beach. I don't want to look at that menu. Whoa. Wow. This is way better than the other headsets I have. I feel like I'm sitting here on the beach with four giant floating screens in front of me. Oh my goodness, look at that. I wish you guys could see this. The beach that I selected is just like my home screen, but it's like a 360 beach. All right, I'm done geeking out on camera. I'm gonna play this for a while. I guess it was too tight, because look at this after an hour, my face is all red. I didn't realize it was that tight. I got VR face. I've got this big red ringer on my face. It pairs with your phone and it connects via Wi-Fi. The speakers are actually very good quality that are built in there. You actually can't see them very well, but they're, I believe they're right here. And it gives you kind of a 360 stereo feature. Speaker right there. And there's a microphone, which I believe is that right there. So when you're talking in a social group, you can hear and speak without having to have anything an extra microphone or anything like that. The material itself is actually quite comfortable. Much more comfortable than the other headsets that I've used. I've worn this for many hours at a time and I've never felt like it was uncomfortable. You can see the soft padding there. This sensor here will automatically know when you're wearing it, so when you put it on, it's ready to go. Here are the lenses, which I found to be a quite good quality. My kids put these on with glasses and they had no problem using it as well, so it seems like most glasses users can use this. Over here is a headphone jack and a USB jack. That's how you connect it to your computer, how you charge it up, get your files off of there. On top, you've got the volume control and the power button. For the remote, you've got a few buttons here. You have a trackpad, which you can use that to scroll through items. You can click on it. There's a back button, there's a home button, and there's also a trigger here. It's very ergonomic, works pretty well. One thing I like about it when you're in the game itself, you can actually hold down the remote button to reorient it whichever direction you're looking at. So if you're laying on your bed looking at the ceiling, when I watch Netflix, hold that down and it'll be right above you. It's pretty cool. Let's do a quick overview of how this whole thing works. Okay, this is the home screen and this beach setting is kind of like your desktop, but it's a 360 desktop. You can use this pad here to scroll through your choices. All right, I've got the Oculus Go here next to a couple mobile VR units. Here's the Hutu, which I got on Amazon a couple years ago. This is the Sinoculars, the As Seen on TV version, one of my early reviews. Now these units work by opening it up, sticking a phone inside, and you basically have the phone a couple inches from your face. But the nice thing is that these actually will adjust. You can, you can turn the lenses on this one. There's some adjustments that way. Sinoculars, you can actually adjust the lenses that way. The Oculus Go, there's no real way to adjust the lenses, so you have to kind of just position it properly on your face. Or if you have glasses and it doesn't work for you with glasses, there are some prescription lenses you can buy separately, I understand. But there's really no way to adjust these lenses. On the other hand, when you're using a mobile VR unit, if, you're, if your phone is dirty or scratched or you get a notification, that's going to affect your view of the game or whatever you're doing in there watching a movie. You can't really access the screen on the Oculus Go, so that's not going to get dirty. It's not going to get scratched so it's gonna stay in kind of a pristine state. Also, you can download onto an internal hard drive here, record your games or videos, output them this way. There's a headphone jack. It's just much more convenient. You have your volume control right there. If you wanna adjust your volume on here, you kinda of have to use your phone, open it back up. It's definitely a superior unit, and it's also self-contained like the others. 
it has all the advantages of a mobile VR unit, only without any disadvantages except for maybe the focus factor, but otherwise it's a far superior unit. Oculus Go is also great for watching videos like Netflix and YouTube. Here's how that looks in there. These are tech glasses, the military inspired sunglasses that block glare and enhance colors. That's today's review, so let's get right to it. I think the best experience still in VR is the Oculus Rift. There's a new version of that coming out later this year, but until then I think that the Oculus Go is a nice balance between cost and experience. So I think for 200 to 249, it's actually a pretty good price. Now most people do VR for games, and my initial favorite is Dead and Buried. Check out a clip of me playing that. You actually feel like they're right on top of you. Oh jeez! Oh come on now. Oh no. You can almost like feel them on top of you. Oh, I'm about to die here. I'm about to die. Oh well, let's get the idea. What surprised me is how well the social aspect of Oculus Go works. So my friend Mike from the Unbox Warehouse joined me. We, inside the game, we talked about it in VTime, which is a social app. And then we had a sort of a round table with a couple other players. It was pretty funny. Here's an extended clip of how that went. Connected, look at that. What up? Wow. What was going that on? That only took way too much work to do that. What was, what was happening? You look, you look sad, actually. Your avatar looks fairly sad. I think it's as irritated as I am right now. <laughs> yeah, you look, do I look sad? You look serious. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm taking this serious. Yeah. There's a beach, paradise resort. That might be nice, but you're really not dressed for it. Yeah, this isn't really a <laughs> beach outfit. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird when you sit, if you sit with your feet and your hands in the same angle as your avatar and look down, it feels like it's actually your hands. Yeah, if you put your hands right there. <laughs> yeah. But it points That's without weird. me pointing. I didn't do that. Yeah, when you when you talk and it picks up audio from your mic, it does hand gestures automatically. Oh. My question was, do you have light that comes through the nose piece area? Yeah. I found that if I adjust the headset, I I can kind of lessen it to it where it's not really a distraction. No, it, and I feel like they this uh, little plastic rubber piece that they have to block the light could have just been designed slightly differently and it would have solved the whole problem. And you say you're having a fogging problem. I don't haven't had a fogging problem. Yes. So I, that's something I didn't really think about. Oh, look, look at us. Oh, man. Oh, here's the whale. <laughs> look. Oh, holy jeez, look. Look. That's Hawaii down there. You can see Hawaii. Oh, those little dot, the little lit up at night? Yeah. I was sat in one of these rooms last night for a couple hours, and I, I just I kind of got lost in it. I was talking to these guys. We were going all over the place. You just kind of forget that you're in a, you do. In a VR headset. It's so big. <laughs> you guys can't tell, but that looks huge. That, it what does. was that? It flew by the other way. This happens a lot. This happens a lot. But I can show you up here. You click on that. Here's where the destinations are at. And you can just pick, I can scroll. You see Outer Limits, Executive Jet. So, there's a little yeah, fan so. behind us here. You see it up there? Yeah, I, I don't feel it though. Actually, here, I don't feel it. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> That'd be pretty good if you could. Know. You know, you could put a fan up there and blow on it. Oh, someone wants to join us. Should we let him? Yeah, let him join us. That's funny. Let's see what this is. <laughs> see who this person is. Looney. How you doing? What's what's up, Lou? What's up? What kind of uh, promotional corpora corporation are you then? We are YouTubers, and we're filming a product review of Fantastic. the Oculus Go right now. Oh, the Oculus Go! I'm really impressed with it compared to the Vive. I was quite yes. quite quite good uh, lenses. Is that what it. you're using right now? Yeah, I'm using the Oculus Go right now because I'm downstairs in the front room, and the Vive's yes, upstairs. Yes, awesome, awesome. So, so what's what do you think is the difference between this and the Vive? Oh well, it's I mean the processing power is is definitely a difference. But I don't play games pri primarily. I watch movies and for watching for consuming media and for social stuff. I've never been so social before. So using big screen and stuff and watching 3D movies for the comfort of my chair has been. Been really good. That's what I used to do with the Vive in the beginning. I used to watch 3D movies, but 
it's so much uh, pushing of buttons to get it ready to work, and it's not always guaranteed to work. Oh yeah. You can yeah. just pick this up and shove it on your face, and you and you go in. I know it's amazing. Um, I own actually every single VR that there is. I have the HTC Vive. I have Oculus Rift. I have the um, Google Daydream. I have Gear VR and this Oculus Go that I have on my face. Am I pointing to my face? I can't see because I've got a big thing telling me how much is downloaded of Chinatown. Oh, oh. so um, this one, the Oculus Go, is by far the best because it may not be the best experience that you get when you have the Gear VR, I mean, when you have the ACC Vive or yeah. the Oculus Rift, but the yeah. convenience far outweighs the lack oh, of experience yeah, that you get. Yeah, I'm totally with you there, man. That's what makes it for me because I could just whack it on and I'm going. What's up, J-Rad? <laughs> not oh, much. Oh, He's got man, a couple really. of what I was doing. I was on the Gear VR. I was watching Netflix on the Gear VR. Yeah. You know when you're watching Netflix, you're in this, like, mountaintop cabin. <clears throat> I got a, I got a condition at the moment and it's really kicking my ass. So sometimes I see <laughs> that's not there. <laughs> and I was watching Netflix. And I swear to God, someone moved up on the balcony, and I was like, you sh oh man, but I've seen a dog walk on water before, and that wasn't real, I know that, but I've seen it, it looked as real as, I've got to cover one eye now, because I can't trust what my eyes are sending me. Oh my goodness, that's the funniest guy wow, ever great. to meet in VR. I know. Do you know what? That's why it's called Go, because you got to go get one. They should just rename it to Oculus Go and get one. Oculus Go <laughs> get one right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I paid £249, which is the uh, Brexit pounds, so it's about $4. And I got the 64 gig one, because my opinion is on buying anything that is expensive, a laptop, a TV, VR, anything, get the best you can at the time. Because you ain't gonna get another one, and if you get the cheap one, you'll end up getting the better one because you'll regret not yes. getting the better one. <laughs> Instead of I have some the cheap yeah, kind of regrets. I yeah, have the cheap right now, and I'm regretting it. Oh, you have ruined I've everything. Filled it up. I've ruined Who's everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey James, Hi. one problem I am having though is my battery just yeah. said battery low, which is one of the big problems oh, really? with the um, Oculus is I use it so much that I run the battery out constantly. I really wish it had oh, like yeah. a removable or replaceable battery pack that I could have one on the charger while I'm using it. Um, you should get a little steam engine, put it on the top, that'd be like total steampunk mate. You'll be such oh. a nerd. Yes. Yeah, the only thing about the Oculus Go is it only lasts like two hours. Yeah, oh, I, I, I got about two and, two and a half hours. Can you nope. do this? <laughs> oh, my battery died. <laughs> oh, here we are. Oh, Why would I want oh, to? Oh, I've, I've, I've been what in happened? Oh, I thought my battery died. Y'all moved us no, to a gym. No, no. But we're just gonna... Oh, you're, you're like right next to me. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> What's up? I actually <laughs> cannot use the Oculus Go oh, right now. Right, this is my Oculus room. As you can see, I, I decorated with pictures of me and my kids from our Miami vacation. And back there, there's another picture. Oh, there's a picture of Bailey. How cool is that? So over here, check this out, what you can do. You can watch some like 360 videos, for example. All right, it's kind of low res. Some of the videos on here I've noticed are pretty low res. I gotta face that way to see the front of the plane. But check this out though. If I hit Lee 360, it's over there in a bubble. How cool is that? That's cool. Look at that. I can actually watch it. They need something like that in real life. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm over here now. There's my picture of Bailey. So you can play games with friends here. But I can go over there and redecorate. I, I decorated this place myself. What do you think? Not bad, huh? We can change the sky. I don't like that. That's not bad. I kind of like the original. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's talk about some potential cons of the Oculus Go. The first one is the battery life. The battery life might last about two and a half, maybe three hours, depending on how you use it. Now that might sound like a lot, but when you're sitting around talking to friends for a couple hours in one of those VR chat rooms, time goes quickly 
as does the battery. And then you either have to plug it in and sit near an outlet, or you have to get out of the game and wait for it to charge up again. You have to be careful because some of those apps, the quality is not up to par for what Oculus Go can handle. Some of those mobile VR units have lenses you can turn and adjust. That is not the case here. The only way I can really figure out how to adjust it is to adjust it on my face until the focus is just right. Another problem is that sometimes light gets through here depending on how it's on my face. And there's been times I can look down and see my hand. It kind of breaks the immersion. I wish that they were able to close this gap just a little bit more, but it's not that bad, especially if you get it in the right position on your face. Let's talk about some of the pros of the Oculus Go. Number one is the display quality is very good, much better than the mobile VR units that I've tried in the past. In fact, I didn't like using my phone in the past because it would drain my phone battery, and sometimes you get notifications that would kind of mess whatever you're doing up while the notification is sitting there. This is a standalone unit. You don't need a phone, don't need a computer, don't even need a wire. And that's one of the things that makes the Oculus Go appealing to a lot of VR users. You can do anything from watch movies, to play games, to socialize with friends. There's a lot you can do in here and everybody's gonna have a slightly different experience. Not to be overlooked, the setup was actually pretty easy. It pairs with your phone, it connects to Wi-Fi, you're pretty much good to go. So I think that the setup was very hassle free. I was impressed with that. The other thing is that your phone sometimes gets dirt and scratches on there. That won't happen because the screen in here is contained. You're not gonna be able to touch it. Probably the most important thing besides the quality of display is the comfort of the headset. I think that this headset is something you can wear for hours at a time with this soft material here. I bought the Oculus Go for $249 at a local Best Buy with tax. It was about $270. This is a 64 gig version. There's a 32 gig available for $200. If it was me, I would go the extra 50 and get the 64 because most of the stuff you do on there is stored on the device itself. So you start running out of room, you have to start deleting things. To me, the Oculus Go was a completely different experience than some of the other cheaper VR headsets that I've used in the past. It's a lot more engaging, a lot more social. I think this is a really cool product. Have you used the Oculus Go or another VR headset like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.